Hello friends, this is Shrikan and today we will be solving this problem of pangrams of hacker rank. So before we start this problem, I just want to give a programming tip. So anyone can write code that a uh, computer can understand. But uh, to be a good programmer, we have to write code such a way that any other person who is reading your code can understand and easily comprehend the code. Right? So we should always modularize the code into functions and use the libraries wherever possible. Fine. So uh, with that thought, uh, let's proceed with this problem. So Roy wanted to increase his typing speed for programming contests. So his friends advised him to type the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog repeatedly. Because it is a panagram. Pangrams are sentences constru constructed by using every letter of the alphabet at least once. So in this sentence, every letter occurs at least once of the English alphabet from A to Z. Okay. After typing the sentence several times, Roy became bored with it. So he started to look for other pangrams. So our task is, given a sentence, tell Roy if it is a pangram or not. Fine. We will be given a string of words and we have to check whether this whole sentence is a pangram. Okay. The constraint, input constraint is uh, only a string and the length is 10 to the power 3 at max and it may contain spaces, lower cases and upper case letters. Okay, so to approach this problem, first of all, it, it would be nice to convert it into a lower case. Fine, after that we will check if uh, all the letters of the English alphabet exist within this sentence or not. Okay, so let's first start by taking the input string uh, say sentence ok then we will get line c in comma c in d and c so this will uh, get the complete sentence with all the spaces and all in this uh, uh, string ok and get line skips the new line fine now uh, we have to check whether this is a pangram or not, right? So we will create a function which will return if it is a pangram or not. Is pangram okay? And we will pass this sentence as an argument. Okay. Uh, now we have to create this function. So this should return us either pangram or not pangram no. so this should return a string string is pangram and it takes an argument which is also a string and we will pass it by reference so that it doesn't create a unnecessary copy fine now first thing is that we have to convert all the letters into lower case in this string we will mutate this string so we will use a library function called transform transform it takes four arguments the first two arguments are the uh, beginning and the end iterators of this uh, yeah, vector or string whatever it we pass so sentence dot begin comma sentence dot and ok it takes four arguments so the first two are the input iterators ok and uh, input iterator begin and input iterator end and third one is the output iterator and the fourth argument is the operator that we want to perform on this uh, all the elements ok so the output should be uh, this sentence only we will mutate this begin and we will use a function called to lower ok to uh, transform this sentence so after that we will iterate through all the characters of this sentence and uh, we will count the if uh, we will count we will check if all the letters are present in this sentence for that we will create a boolean array of uh, characters of size uh, boolean c of 26 okay 
for int i equal to zero i less than sentence dot size i plus plus then uh, we have to check whether it is a alpha alphabet for that we will do is alpha is a function in stdio we will use this function to check if this current letter is an alphabet sentence of i if it is then we will uh, make this uh, boolean element to true that is that letter have is present okay c of uh, sentence of i minus a is equal to true fine else uh, we we don't have to do anything okay so we will do the negative of this if it is not a alphabet okay then we will uh, return uh, not pangram okay so to this uh, yeah uh, otherwise uh, so this will uh, check if all the elements are there or not so after this what we will do is int i equal to 0 i less than 26 i plus plus if any of the uh, alphabet is not present so it is false then we have to return not pangram otherwise we will return a pangram if c of i is false okay then return not pangram fine otherwise it will return pangram okay uh, yeah let's try to run the sample test case to see if it passes so there is one compilation error no matching function called to transform mm. we have to use here colon colon and case has passed so to pass the function we have to use this uh, operator okay uh, let's submit the code so all the test cases have passed hope you have enjoyed watching this video thanks for watching and if you like the video then share this video with your friends and yeah, good luck. Bye.